Hello everyone and this is a small tutorial on how to copy multiple objects on a set of points and also how to control their distribution weightage based on an attribute. So what I have is I have like a, a box and a sphere and a tube and a cone. Okay, you can you can use anything. And then I also put it through a match size. So uh, I, I set it to like min in justify y so that it, they're all above ground. And you can use the target size to control the size of all of them. Okay, so and then on the other side I have a grid and I gave it a scatter. Now you can use the standard scatter or you can also use the scatter and align node because what that does is it also gives you like an additional control on rotation of your copies. So we can use that. So what I can do is I can just take this, I'll set the coverage to one and then I'll set the point count method to by density and we can just lower the density or let sorry like increase the density so you get like more of them. The uh, one thing that the scatter and align node does is it calculates the distance between each uh, point and generates a p-scale value. Okay, so when you plug in, they will the copies will sort of automatically scale down. And then it also gives you like grand rotation control, so that's always a nice thing. Okay, so the way it works is like how exactly do you go about you know distributing all four of these onto this uh, onto these set of points. So what you need to do is you need to generate an integer attribute and you give each one of these a number. Okay, so you say this is zero, this is one, two, and three. And then you generate the same integer values on these points. And then when you put them through a copy to points, it will automatically connect the number over here, like the like let's say box is zero. And then whatever points here have the same number of zero, it will copy the box over there. So the way it works is you can either take like a wrangle node and generate an integer attribute. But if you don't want to do that, I usually try and avoid as much as I can of directly starting to type in vex. So what you can do is you can just type in, uh, just type in adjust and you'll get something called as adjust, uh, attribute adjust integer. Okay, so you can sort of use these to generate like a float value, integer value vector. So I can just take attribute adjust integer the attribute name, so we'll call it usually like the default it takes is variant, so we'll just go with variant, which is fine. And set this to uh, like the attribute class at points is fine. And just set the, uh, the operation to always and we'll keep it to constant. And so this is zero. Okay, and then we'll just do control C, control V. This is one. This, this is two and this is three. Okay, so we have like all four of these and then we can just merge them together. So I can just take this and merge them. So there you go, so we have, you know, these guys. Now we need to generate the same stuff here. So we take, we again take the attribute adjust integer and all you have to do is the give it the same name, like the names have to match, so this is variant. And then we'll do set always. And over here, let's say if we keep it to constant and say constant value of zero. And then I can take a copy to points and I'll copy all of them. Okay, we might have to adjust the scaling. Hold on. And let's just keep it to one. Because it already has like internally it's generating P scale. So yeah. Okay, so nothing is happening right now. Like all four objects are just, you know, lying on top of each other. So all you need to do is come in here where it says piece attribute, turn that on and type in variant. And there you go. Okay, now right now it's just showing you the box because what has happened is we've generated the integer value over here and we've kept it to a constant value of zero. So it's just picking up this guy because this is named, this is number zero. Okay, so if I come in here and change, see, so this is one and then this is two and this is three. Uh, didn't I do three over there? Yeah, okay, sorry, three, yeah. Okay. And so now let's say if I change this to random, and there you go. So what we need to do is, it's missing a lot because it's taken a value range from zero to nine. We only have zero to three. So bring this down to three, and there you go. So you have like, you know, all of these guys spreading out. Uh, and then you can control it based on a ramp, which is not particularly sort of uh, 
intuitive to control this through a ramp but let's say if i take it to like steps okay and then i can just say so this is all zero so now i'll have see i'll have more of the box as i bring this in or you can sort of reduce this see okay or like let's say if i have like the top one which is i guess the cone so i can you know like control based on that okay but this is not as i said this is not very intuitive so the way you can do this in a different way is uh, in the range okay like let's set this back to linear okay and in the range value you have an option called specific value so just turn that on and we need four of them so one two three and this is like one this is two this is three and now you have like a weightage option so i can just let's say if i just take these and i reduce them see so now i can say like the cone which is value three should have full weightage and all of them are at zero or i can sort of just increase this a little bit you know and then maybe like i want more of the box so i can so now this gives you like you know much better sort of control and let's say if i change this from random to like a noise map okay and let's just increase the size of the noise map yeah there you go see so now i can you know adjust the weightage in a much more sort of organic fashion so let's say if i take this i increase that more and i want a few of the spheres so there you go see so now we have now we can like actually control you know like how these things are going to spread and you can also animate it like if you want like you can offset the noise map you can come to animation and turn this on so if i press play say you know the map animates which is in this case is kind of pointless but yeah you can sort of do stuff like that and even in the scatter line let's say if i change this to something like uh, by size okay and then you can sort of control you know big or small that way and you know we can probably like go down so yeah so that's pretty much it so this this works for anything you know like uh, just to give you another example of not like weighted distribution but how to use variants like let's say if you want to do something like uh, let's say you're doing you're making like a shopping mall or you're making like an interior and you have a shelf and you have like each shelf should have different objects so if you want to do something like that even that will sort of work so what i can do is let's say if i take a line and this line should have four points so i'll just make it tall enough and then just give it four points okay and then i can take an enumerate so take an enumerate and the type will be integer and the attribute index will be variant okay so we have like i we won't be able to visualize this directly but yeah what it's done it is sort of like sorry and keep this to points there you go so if i check this if i do split left right and make it like geometry spreadsheet see so you have variant 0 1 2 and 3 now what what i can do is let's say i'm not going to make a shelf but let's do something simpler so let me just disconnect this yeah and now let's say i'll pick i'll pick a horizontal line so i can just take this set it to let's make it long and i'll do a match size again let's push this in the center and do a copy to points now what this should do for me is when i copy something it will automatically pick up the attribute as well so if i click on variant see the same values have come up here so we have 0 1 2 3 and then i can just give it some more points and then if i just come in here and i'll disconnect the grid and replace it with this then the rest of it should automatically work so there you go so if i just kind of lower the size of this like make these guys smaller so what happens now is i have this and because of the enumerate and these guys like if i just increase the size of this and make more so like if you're making a giant shopping mall and you want to distribute you know objects on each shelf then you can use the variant attribute as well okay so that's pretty much it